Okay, so tonight I am making um, overnight oats, which has been like my go-to because um, I've been so, so busy and so hungry. So I like to make this to keep myself really full. And, you know, as much as I love low carb, I am not doing low carb right now. Um, just because I'm breastfeeding, I just had my baby. So it's kind of like, I'm more finding balance and what will keep me full longest and what, um, you know, what's easy to grab. So, um, I'm trying to get a lot of protein, um, and a lot of fiber. So, um, oats are really, really good for milk production. So is flaxseed and so are chia seeds. So um, this is like perfect for breastfeeding moms. Um, I don't have a problem with um, milk production. If anything, I might have overproduction, but I kind of like having an overproduction because I like pumping and getting a stash of milk for when I go back to work. Um, so as long as I'm not like in pain or anything from it, then, you know, I'm fine with producing more milk than I need, um, for right now. So anyway, um, I have a jar of Nutella and a jar of, um, peanut butter, which obviously were not the best choices I've ever made in my life, but I did it. So whatever. Um, <laughs> so they're all, I ate we we I didn't exclusively but we ate the two jars these are small you know smallish jars um and you know that on the outside it's all you know there's some leftovers so instead of using my spatula and just scraping those up um I left it in there and I'm going to use those as my overnight oats jars um so I am using a third of a cup so this recipe is easy because it's kind of like all the same measurements. So I'm using a third of a cup of oats, um, a third of a cup of uh, Greek yogurt. This is just what I had. You can use, you know, full fat or you can use um, low fat or no fat if you want. Um, and then a third of a cup of milk. I'm using Fairlife just cause I don't, I'm not really counting the calories right now and I like the extra protein in it. Um, and I like the taste of regular milk, but, um, or like this kind of milk rather than an alternative, but you can also use almond milk if you wanna save some calories. So third of a cup, third of a cup, and a third of a cup. Um, you can also use like flavored yogurt. So like you could use like the Chobani low sugar. Um, you could use like the cherry one with the Nutella and then like a berry one with the peanut butter. So it's kind of like, um, you know, uh, peanut butter jelly or like strawberry with the Nutella would be good. Whatever you wanna do. Um, so third of a cup, third of a cup, third of a cup. And then, um, I have uh, the uh, ground flax seed, so I'm gonna do a, tea, a tablespoon of this and a tablespoon of chia seeds. Um, and then I'm going to add collagen peptides. This one's like totally optional. So like you can totally make this without, you can really make this without any of the, like if you're missing one of these ingredients, it's totally fine. Um, but I'm adding collagen peptides. This has really helped me um, with like hair loss. Um, and it also has really worked well with like um, making my skin a lot better than it has been. And I really think it's actually made like my lips fuller and I just really like adding this. Um, there's also lots of protein in this. It's not a complete protein, so I'm not sure if it like really counts, but I count it anyway. And then I'll probably add like a half. This is stevia, like little packets of stevia. Um, I'll probably add one packet in for both of these. So like a half a packet each. Um, and then you just close them up, shake them up, and then let them sit um, overnight for at least six hours. Um, and then uh, you 
you can eat them cold, which is really good. I have this like little spatula, which I have been using, that's why it's dirty, but you can kind of like scrape the sides. But once it's like soaking, it kind of, um, all the outside comes off. And like really, there's like not even, there's maybe like a teaspoon of like leftover peanut butter in here and same with here um, of like the the spread um, so you know you're not really doing anything that bad um, and then I might add like blueberries to this one and strawberries to that one so yeah um, I'll include the macros if you want um, in this but that's kind of my go to and it's been working really well for me. Um, I don't always do it with the empty jars. I usually do it with like a mason jar. Um, and then I'll just like add a little bit of peanut butter or whatever I want to it. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know.